Tell the story about why you're banned. Now, you're banned. I'm banned. You're banned. Yeah. Everybody who worked for the E Show is banned. Yeah. <laughs> Gilbert I, Gottfried is banned. I don't know Jackie why. He was the best guest. But like. Chelsea, Chelsea Handler's on three times a week. Um, Chelsea, I need a handler. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I had a couple of drinks in me, and it was when uh, Periscope first came around, and I was kidding around on Periscope. And you I, find, you're finding a theme with you that you're kidding, and a lot of people don't take it as a joke. No, yeah, exactly. Right. Welcome to my life. So uh, I said a couple of things that had already been said in the media about Howard, about a list, and he doesn't go back, and he kind of like blew off his old staff, and blah blah blah. <laughs> and uh, somebody from Red Mama. Radar Online uh, was listening to the Adam Levy. Yeah, Adam yeah, and, name. <laughs> and he uh, he did a whole big article He'll on it. He'll be writing about this now for the, the Daily Mail. And get ready. I was with Roy, and all of a sudden my Twitter's blowing up, and Who's I'm like, Roy? what? The, Roy? Oh, like, Roy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> And uh, my Twitter started blowing up, and I saw this article, and I turned to him, and I said, "Is this what's this?" He goes, "It's Radar Online, dude. That's a big fucking deal." It no, was, no, yeah. No, 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 he goes, "Well, how many people read this?" I go, "Oh, I don't know, twenty-five million. Exactly. <laughs> well, the guy's obsessed with the Howard. He's, I've been yeah. on there, and then Howard, he claims Howard got him fired from Radar Online. Ah, uh, yeah, I think because so. he wrote all the stuff that me and Howard would say, like, like me and Howard had one little radio war back and forth. Yeah, and uh, God, Howard's a powerful guy. He said two words. But we went up three thousand subscribers, <laughs> but I didn't know I was banned. And no, wait, wait, it was, so you said, what did you say? I I basically said what everybody else was saying about how he sold out. He's just a list yeah, now. Did you, you see why he get mad at that? <laughs> well, but I, I didn't say it first. I was saying what everybody else yeah, said. Yeah, but no, okay. So everybody else says you're an asshole. You, but you, I'm, I'm okay with you. But I, 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 first of all, I didn't know anybody watched Periscope, let alone somebody on Radar Online was watching it. Okay. Uh, That's why that douchebag who said, oh, you should kiss Howard's ass, Art, on the radio the other day. I did a radio interview, and he's like, uh, quite frankly, Art, you should just shut up and be grateful for Howard. I was grateful for years and years and years. Mom, and then he lost his mind. And this is how. It's fucking Grillo. He's a great guy. He's a nice He's no threat to you, Howard. You banned Grillo because he said something a year ago that was kind of goofing around. And you said Robin. Now listen to Robin. Listen to the, the madness over there. It's a goddamn fucking nightmare. I had to go down in the lobby. She goes, you have to go down in the lobby. You have can to you leave imagine, right now. Can you wow. imagine you have to leave right now? This is the guy Howard dedicated his book to. Wow. <laughs> okay. And, and Robin gets to summon. Go tell him he's banned. Oh, stop fucking defending Robin. She's, I, I love Robin, too, but she should get some balls. Well, that's true. She should get some fucking balls. Over another... Well, yeah, then I got an attitude during lunch. What, what, what was the attitude? Oh, she was just... Talk to the head? Like, kind of something like that, yeah. Unbelievable. So why'd you have lunch here? Well, because she, she, we already had plans, so she was nice enough to stick to the plan. Uh, but, you know, she goes to that landmark what an, what an thing. Honor. She goes to that landmark, you know, uh, forum thing, and that teaches you to let things go. And what the you, fuck are you talking about? She, the landmark. It's a big forum thing. Like, it's sort of like almost Scientology, but not really. Yeah, How about the weekend you did? But. Oh, yeah. I had to go to a fucking weekend with KC. KC ran out to the bar and never came back. <laughs> Well, you, you sit in the chair. Well, you, third... you really know how to weave a tail. Yeah. <laughs> You're all over the fucking place. I'm not looking so bad all of a sudden. No, uh, no, this, well, is, this is ta this is a Mount Tangent. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so you, uh, so, so, Robin's likes to have to lunch with you, and then what? You never hear from her again. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Wow. You're you're banned. Okay, I was talking to another person who won't let me say their name uh, this afternoon. And uh, again, this is a, someone who was a, a loyal soldier to Howard for 20 years. I said, come on the podcast. And, and I said, we're not going to talk about not to talk about Howard. Mom Let's ball. laugh about whatever. We'll talk sports or something. The guy goes, no. I, I can't. I go, why? He goes, I'm really afraid if he hears me on your podcast. <laughs> this is how persona not grata I am. If he's just on my podcast, he'll have me, uh, he'll, he'll end my career. He already did. <laughs> yeah, well, let's just calm down with that. <laughs> it's a good joke, but it's anonymous now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I tell you, when Grillo gets one that works, he fucking harps on it. <laughs> uh, so, uh, <laughs> knock, knock. All right, shut up. Uh, no, so could, can you imagine that, guys? So to, 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 to DJ Douchebag, who was I I interviewing me the other day and said, I should just shut up and kiss him. This is why I'm uh, upset. He lost his fucking mind. You are banned <laughs> because you said something a year ago. And Robin has, is nice enough to have lunch with you. Like, that's an honor. And, and, uh, and, and, and then you're gone. And, and you can't get her on the phone anymore. No, all of a sudden I have to talk to you. And yeah, but then they, the thing is, they still play my clips and shit. It's like if I'm banned, then stop playing my stuff. Well, well, listen. Well, well, don't make, well you're talking to the choir there, buddy. <laughs> I, I, I'm on every fucking morning. 
I guess uh, the request channel says Artie a lot. <laughs> uh, but he, he cuts me out of entire bits. Joe Buck was on the show recently. He didn't bring up me on the Joe Buck show. No, no way. I mean, that's like, I mean how did he, can you imagine? I mean, HBO's huge, and Judd Apatow was always on when he has something major to promote. What's he going to do, dance around the fact that I'm the second uh, lead of the show? I guarantee you there's going to be some stipulation or before he goes he, or, on. Or does he say no to Judd Apatow as a guest? That'd be interesting. That'd be weirder, too. You're in a rock and a hard place, Pelican Boy. Oh, <laughs> shit. Ow. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Guess oh. who's in a rock and a hard place, Dick? Mambo. <laughs> you better make sure Ralph matches your belt and shoes that day. <laughs> See Ralph and him like two fucking broads in the afternoon. Yeah, that belt is good with those shoes. Hey, listen to what Benji said. Benji said something like he doesn't like you. <laughs> Hey, kick that poor guy out of the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you see this? That's what Howard's become. He's he's like, you don't, you're not someone he wants to introduce at Jennifer Addison's wedding, bro. Ah, Neither am I. Yeah. Neither's Fred. We're not cool enough for that gang. Jimmy Kimmel but is. But the thing is, he'll, he'll bring Ralph to shit like that, though. That's because Ralph has something in the safe. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, no kidding. And like, what do you think, what he's going to do? Belt, pick out his own belt? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, didn't Ralph, like, really do something horrible at his Hampton house? I was there. Yeah, and yeah. but like, who would get away with that? We would have well, been fired, banned. Like, but, you know, like, how does he get away with that? Because he knows what belt matches what shoes. <laughs> <laughs> the, watch Howard on Old Letterman's the night before he met Ralph. He would wear black leather pants tucked into brown cowboy boots. Yeah, he had a cop mustache that. Tony Bennett schnoz and the fucking glasses that looked like he looked like he was looking through an aquarium. <laughs> <laughs> then he met a club boy named Ralph. <laughs> oh. And Ralph said, I can make you look hot. <laughs> All I want is this, that, and the other thing. But th there is a rumor that an A-list person got Howard the Chain. Okay. Uh, is responsible for this. Because they introduced him to the Marcy Turk. And I, by the way, I got a, a retraction. I found out that she did not take Gary's office and oh, emasculate Gary. She uh, took Tracy's office, the douche. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah. And, and because of that, Gary has to share an office with an intern. Yeah. <laughs> no. it's, it's even worse. I, I'd heard allegedly now there was rumors going around that she was banging people on the staff. Oh, that, that, that I heard too. And yeah. Steve Brandano and Ben Bardo. Yeah. I heard Ben Bardo and her, and she had to go to Human Resources, so I guess she's really getting things done. Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> It's not doing things. It's getting things done. Yeah, it's, it's doing people. <laughs> yeah, it's not doing people. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. This is all alleged. And, of course, you know, I feel terrible. He lost his mind. I feel bad for him. Marshy Turk is allegedly a con artist. What a score, if she is a con artist. What a score. The king of all media. She's in the building. It's like that Bannon guy with Trump. He's in the White House. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You understand? She's Steve Bannon. Oh, shit. That's a great analogy. Yeah. Thank you. That's what I do. <laughs> and I point out when you make poor analogy. <laughs> No, no, she is the Steve Bannon of the Stern Show. She's in the White House. She's in the White House of Radio. <laughs> That's the White House of Radio, baby. No doubt. Thank you. <laughs> is that your favorite band? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. She, she, and, and uh, you know, hey, she infiltrated a billionaire's situation. <laughs> she got Gary's office. He's produced the show for 30 years, and she got an office, which meant he has to share an office. And she's his boss, no? She's his boss. <laughs> hey, boss. Hey, boss. <laughs> hey, lady boss. <laughs> she's babe boss. I wonder if she makes him uh, read back the, uh, take this letter down. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah boss, she's going, Gary, take this down. Yeah, take this down. I, I, I am a jackass. I, I am a jackass. <laughs> Uh, Gary, uh, listen, could you see if the, did those blackout shades come in? They did? Okay, send Ben Bardo in. <laughs> Gary, it's Marcy, your boss. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I talked to Howard. You don't have permission to talk to him today. <laughs> Secondly, <laughs> tell Scott the engineer his, his, uh, his new office is now on the roof of the building across the street. <laughs> He's like that guy in office space. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm it not took gonna... my <laughs> Uh, don't move that, please. Listen, uh, I'll burn the stoop. I listen to my stapler, and I, I was told that I could have an office when I was five feet bigger. <laughs> yeah, Gary Smarcy, listen, uh, I want, I need those blackout shades yesterday. <laughs> and send in Steve Brandano. <laughs> <laughs> if you get me an office five feet bigger, could you send in Brandano and Bardo? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Hello, threesome. <laughs> Oh. Listen, it's Ralph. 
I was promised that studio welcome. <laughs> <laughs> And I thought I was, I was trying to fuck Rossi. <laughs> that would have been a real get. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Howard, I just played two poker games. I have an extra $200. <laughs> uh, those, uh, those shoes, Howard, lose them. You've got to lose those shoes. They don't look good on pelicans. <laughs> 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 this is what Ralph used to do. He didn't realize I wanted to get the fuck out of that show two years before I left. He would go on the wrap-up show and go, uh, like, uh, admit that he talks behind our back. That was Gary's biggest fear, by the way, that when, uh, you know, Ralph was doing his little uh, uh, faggot what, show, what clothes you should wear time. Yeah. Uh, it was just him and uh, Howard, and he would badmouth the staff, and especially Gary. Are you kidding me? That's what they did the entire time they goofed on Gary. And, and the guy was insecure about maybe losing his job. So he started doing, Ralph started doing that with me. Uh, he said, he called the wrap-up show when I'm not there, by the way, yeah. to fucking take him down. Uh, he's like, uh, yeah, listen, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I said to Howard the other day while I was uh, tying his shoelaces, <laughs> uh, <laughs> while I was showing him how to make a Windsor knot, <laughs> I said, I know, Artie was absent the other day, and I said, look, I'm not missing Artie. <laughs> That's what, he said. Oh. what a douche. I'm not, I said to Howard, I'm not missing Artie. Mm. Yeah. You know what you are missing? A life. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at Fred. Fred, look at this comedic genius. He is watching Howard with this social life like some douchebag and all these Hollywood parties. <laughs> Fred's just like running the show. Never invited. Of course not. Why? Because he's not cool enough. See, Howard's rebelling against all... He's becoming that in-crowd that he couldn't get into. He wanted to be the friends in high school. He wanted to be David Schwimmer. He was Howard. <laughs> but the thing he has over Schwimmer is he's a fucking comedic genius. He fucking revolutionized... And, and, and instead he worships David Schwimmer! <laughs> Schwimmer's worship should be worshiping you! I'm trying to give you a compliment, Dick Lick! <laughs> Take it! No, he's not taking it. He's going to Jennifer Aniston's wedding without Fred. And Grillo can't go in the building. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> the guy who made your potatoes. Bam! I love it. that. That's exactly. Like, Bam! <laughs> Arf Artie Lang. Bam! <laughs> Jackie Marley. Bam! <laughs> Grillo. Bam! Gangie. Bam! <laughs> Everyone he met before Marcy Turk. Bam! 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 <laughs> Brandano. Almost banned. <laughs> See, if they fucked her, she's a doll, too, that, that Marcy. I never uh, saw her. Marcy Klein, Calvin, we, me and uh, Dan came up with a theory. Mm -hmm. Marcy Klein, Calvin Klein's daughter, ruined Saturday Night Live for five, ten years because she was the talent coordinator. Because Lord's such a star fucker, he made Calvin Klein's daughter, Marcy Klein, the, the talent coordinator. <laughs> <laughs> Comedians in New York, that's when I was first coming up, were scared to death of her because she was picking SNL. <laughs> like her? <laughs> and uh, so what is it about the name Marcy that, that uh, they're a cunt that ruins comedy? <laughs> that name, if you uh, have a kid and the doctor goes, you know, uh, we did some blood tests and she's going to be a cunt that ruins comedy. <laughs> name her Marcy. <laughs> That's like truckers named Bubba. Mm. <laughs> if you're a cunt that ruins comedy, you're Marcy. Well, anyway, it's been a lot of fun. But that's the first thing they would do. They would start goofing on Gary when they saw each other. So Gary thought he was going to lose his job over it. And uh, he didn't. He lost his office. <laughs> <laughs> and his dignity. And his dignity. I mean, come on, Gary. But I don't blame Gary because, you know, what else is he going to do? I saw his paycheck. Thank God I make more. Mambo. I'd be so mad if I didn't make as much as Gary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, see, I'm, not, I'm not one of the guys who was underpaid. I was fine. I never complained about shit. I was making 910 grand a year. That was just a stern show. Stand up, I made about two mil. Wow. Books. That's right. <laughs> Good for you. Celebrity net worth, if you go to that, that's what I should have. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't there when the Broncos didn't cover. <laughs> 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 or Vi Viking went up to 12 bucks a pill. <laughs> oh. Let's just calm down. <laughs> <Take ease. laughs> they weren't there when I, I bought an illegal diamond at the port. To get oh. to Dana, and I lost it on the plane. 50 Gs. Oh, Jesus. I made a lot of bad uh, decisions. <laughs> Mario's Uber. <laughs> yeah. Mario's Uber That's goal. a big one. It is a big one. But, uh, no, so I, I have no complaints about me. I was taken care of. That was my dream job. I had no complaints. I did whatever I want. Stand up. I made. I got beer league made because of Stern. Books, I'm not delusional. The reason I'm on a couch next to the biggest intern of all time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's been an interesting show. Uh, Gorilla Band, I'm banned. Everyone's banned. 